Happy Monday, Eagles Nation. Welcome to today's episode of Views from the Link TV. See now here alongside Tom Moresco and uh, recapping what has been a brutal five, six day stretch there since for the Eagles. Thursday, yeah, right. since Thursday. Um, I want to go back to the time when, um, you know, before training camp started. You know, like we were about everything because yeah. that was that was that was the golden era of this off season. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I mean, the first thing you know, I don't. Just so much stuff going on. I guess, the, I guess we'll start with Lane Johnson. You know, he's yeah. going to be suspended for 10 games, which really kills your offensive line. It's already looked horrendous with yeah. him in there in the first preseason game. So what what do they do now with, without Lane Johnson? I mean, it's just it's just a bad offensive line. Um, I think Lane Johnson's got, you know, a lot of a lot to think about. You know yeah. I mean? He's kind of just gave up his guaranteed money. He yeah. led his team down, so... We'll see about Lane Johnson, but um, Alan Barber's in there working at right tackle, so um, we'll see how he does. Obviously, uh, there was a report uh, that came out about the Eagles reaching out to the old uh, Giants tackle, William Beatty. Yeah. The guy's not that good. So, I mean, there's just not that many guys out there. I think they'll wait for cuts. Yeah. Um, so they can do. And see if they can pick anyone up. But I also heard that uh, Jari Evans looks really old and really bad for Seattle. So. Uh -huh. Wisniewski, honestly, was a better pickup, and uh, I mean, we'll see how it goes. Maybe he's just getting back into shape and things like that. But I think I have, I have faith in. Uh, it's crazy because I have more faith in the guards now than I have in the tackles. Yeah, the complete then, opposite <laughs> going into camps. So. Uh, exactly. Um, so yeah, I mean, they definitely need to uh, do something about that O line because you know you saw what happened. Uh, you know, Carson Wentz injury. Yeah, and, my, my um, boy Isaac Samalu said he played bad in the first game. He's starting yeah, on Thursday, so yeah, rookie. Hopefully, he shows some athleticism, some some chemistry with uh, Peters over there. If yeah. Peters even plays, but I doubt it. But with Kelsey, and hopefully he gets in there, and makes uh, makes things happen. Yeah, no, so we need someone to step it up and you know contribute, whether it's the guard or you know if um Harbury can step up for a few games at the right tackle. Oh, great. Probably not going to happen though, so I'm hoping Sam Milo can come through and you know kind of hold it down in between two veterans. Yeah. yeah. Um, but seriously, um, you know the Carson Wentz injury. I know a lot of people are talking about that. The hairline fracture is probably going to be out for about two weeks. But um, you know, say say what you will, the offensive line. My big issue, and I don't think people are really talking about, it, is that he dropped back to pass almost every single play. Yeah. Almost every. Like, he dropped. He threw 24 times. He dropped back probably almost 30 times pass. I do not. I can barely recall. Now what do you what do you mean by that? I, I heard you say that like yesterday. Drop he dropped back the pass, but then he ended up scrambling. So on the stat sheet, oh, he it does literally okay, it doesn't so like yeah. he dropped back and then he scrambled, so and it doesn't ran, really come yeah. up or he got sacked, so he it doesn't rushed, come up sacked, as yeah. a throw on the stat sheet, but he's still dropping back the pass. Yeah. I cannot remember one time Carson Wentz hand the ball. I really can't. He he, he did a couple times. I, I'm sure he did. It wasn't was like, that many. Yeah. Were, they, I think Peterson took the whole evaluating him process a little too much. I think yeah. he should have thrown the ball maybe fifteen ish times his yeah. first his first game. Great. But he threw it he threw it, you know, 20, 24, 25 times and you're right, he dropped yeah. back. He had a couple scrambles, couple runs and maybe took a sack or so. Yeah. Um I would like to think he got hit he got hit too much because it was so predictable that they were passing yeah. every, every single down and mm -hmm. they just the Bucks said, look, we're gonna you know, running backs going to miss a blitz pickup. These are young running backs. They don't understand that kind of stuff yet. They'll mess up, and they messed up multiple times in a row, and they got the guy killed back there. Yeah. And um, the, the one play that Vitae didn't get out of his stance, yeah. I think that was the one when he made the move and scrambled around the edge and ran for that yeah. for like nine yards. I mean, that's just, that's just bad, though. Your offensive line, it's just bad. I mean... The bottom line is you, you got to protect the guy in more ways than just getting a better O line. It's you know handing the ball, yeah. calling a little bit more timing, one step drop type, three step drop, whatever yeah. timing routes. It just seemed like they wanted to see everything he had. In yeah, that is one game. throw. Yeah. Exactly, and I, I think they they you know I thought Carson Wentz played really well, and um, I don't think anyone's gonna really dispute that too much. It, you know the injury is unfortunate, but Given like the how he. Uh, yeah, with the no line, but how are you going to drop the guy back that many times? I can't imagine he'll be thrown 80% no. of the time, running 20% of the time. That's I, I was not impressed with Doug Peterson whatsoever. No, yeah, that, that, was a, um, that was a big uh, letdown the play calling and stuff like that. Um, you know, obviously the defense looked good, but going into week, you know, week two of the preseason here against um, Pittsburgh, what do you think? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, obviously not seeing Carson Wentz kind of kills you because that was the most yeah, fun. It kind of goes Yeah, that yeah. was the most fun thing of the preseason. But 
Um, you know, Sam Bradford, we've been talking about him for a while now, and, you know, I'm back on the birds this morning. Uh, you know, I had my, my misery for the last, you know, couple of days, and now, you know, I'm back. I'm hoping they don't drop Bradford back, you know, that many times yeah. ever. But, yeah. um, you know, 25, 30 throws in regular season is probably where you want to be at, and that's mm -hmm. probably, a, you know, the winning formula for the team. They need to run the ball, play good defense, control the clock. So I'm really looking for them to do those things and, mm -hmm. and get them, establish that identity that we thought they had going into this camp. Mm -hmm. It seemed they kind of got away from it. But, I mean, we, again, we only saw the first team offense for a, a short field drive after a fumble recovery. Yeah. Um, and then Chase Daniel, uh, he's just really bad. So <laughs> hopefully, you know, I don't, even, I, don't, I don't know what Wendell Smallwood's deal is, but I hope he comes back. We need a couple more running backs. I want to see Smallwood. I want to see some screens. Mm -hmm. uh, and I want to see uh, Sam Bradford um, take advantage of this opportunity. Because right now he can be – the most valuable player for the Eagles yeah. uh, if they want to have any any shot at you know a, a near 500 record by the time Lane Johnson comes back Sam yeah. Bradford has to be healthy and he has to play well yeah exactly and, and the receivers then, do too and the good thing with Sam Bradford is like you were saying the other day um, he's used to playing with yeah. absolutely nothing around him so yeah. I mean I might, think might be the best QB to have in this situation yeah exactly he's, he's been in these crappy situations his whole career and I know people you know, don't give him a lot of leeway on that, but I mean, if he can overcome this now yeah. and, and and propel us, then maybe we can start to say, well, maybe if this guy did have some talent around him, because yeah. it's just been because Carson so Wentz long. had no talent around him. That's, that's, that's all people, people talk saying, about. But yeah. Sam Bradford doesn't get you know the it's double standards. Yeah, exactly. yeah, so. yeah, and people say you know Wentz is a rookie and. Bradford's been around for seven years. Well, yeah, he's been around for seven years or six years, whatever, but he's never had talent around him. Yeah. If, if that's what our team looks like when Carson Wentz is the starter for six years and we still have the Rams-type talent or this Eagles team-type talent, if it still looks like this in six years, I can tell you what, Carson Wentz isn't going to look any better <laughs> than what he did on Thursday night, running for his life back there, yeah. making rush decisions, taking hits. Mm -hmm. It's brutal, and he's going to just end up keep on getting. He's just going to keep on getting hurt. Um, yeah. At North Dakota State, he didn't take a lot of hits. They were, they were so good, they were winning. I'm, I'm sure he wasn't subject to so many hits. I mean, yeah. he's just. You can't expose a young quarterback to that. That's how they're ruined. That's how Sam Bradford was ruined. That's mm -hmm. how da uh, David Carr was ruined. I mean, granted, who knows if these guys would have ever been good anyway. It's kind of the luck of the draw of pro sports. But I don't want my favorite team to subject their quarterback to that and, and take, yeah. accept that and say, oh, it's just an excuse to say he doesn't have an O-line. No, go get this guy an O-line. Yeah, go, yeah, go get him some receivers. I don't care if it's an excuse. I would rather just be... Making the excuse and surround him with great a great situation. I mean, look at look at Dak Prescott. Yeah, I'm throwing out. the ball up to Des Bryant behind that good offensive line. With Some the people would rather have him over Carson Wentz after one preseason game. So yeah, let's exactly. not read because too because much the Cowboys have game. a more established situation around him. So now he's better. See how see how much a quarterback's influenced by what's around him. It's it's crazy. So yeah. I mean, Sam. Hopefully, Sam Bradford can do what he's done his whole career and try to make something out of nothing. It hasn't yeah. really happened for him. Um, but he's got to be the most valuable player moving forward yeah, on, on the offensive side of the ball right now. I mean, he, he protects Wentz, and he protects you from having to watch Chase Daniel. Yeah, so. exactly, and we don't want to see any of that. So thank you for joining us, guys. We will see you later in the week for Bird Buzz um, and the game on Thursday. So have a great week. Have a great rest of your day.